Radio Row Day 3. We've got Eye of the Tiger rolling officially with the Cool Ranch Doritos. The NFL finally heard my pleas for Cool Ranch Doritos. Did uh, an interview with NFL Films this morning on the greatest Steves in NFL history. I have a, a bias towards one. Uh, nonetheless, I think the information disseminated was accurate and appropriate and awesome. So they hooked me up with a nice uh, baseball hat. It's pretty sweet. Rule the road is free stuff here at Super Bowl week. So we are gonna walk around and see how much free stuff we can accumulate here on Radio Row before Bueller's Day Off gets going. Let's do it. Where's the free stuff? Gatorade? All right, free stuff. Show me the free stuff. All right, we're going for it. Let's get after it. Soon to be the longest po' boy in the history of mankind. 47 feet of food. Some Cajun dust, which is some pork rinds and some voodoo zap potato chips mashed up. And then we have some sweet, spicy tomatoes. Cajun dust is pork rinds and potato chips all mashed up. You love it. Put a spell on you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that is Cajun dust. I do more home cooking where I got a little mayonnaise, blue cheese crumbles, bacon, and we're going to do some zaps, potato chips as well. Because uh -huh. we like our chips. We like our chips. And we also like you 49ers. Uh -huh. All right, I'm hunting for free stuff. What do I got here? What's, what's this? We have Louisiana, Louisiana fried shrimp with uh, Zatarain's Ramalot sauce. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is, that is good. That sauce is awesome. Good? All right, I got a tip that there's some free king cake just around the corner. Let's go investigate. King cake is a traditional Mardi Gras cake that we have. It's like a big cinnamon roll. <laughs> All right, haven't consumed enough calories here in New Orleans, so let's dive into some king cake. What do you say? Do you mind if we take this off a little bit just for the shot? Oh, that's good. That is good. Cinnamon, delightful. It's good. Radio Row filling out. As I mentioned, day one, it was kind of boring. Only a few people were here on day one, but now Radio Row. All right, various Super Bowl host committees come out to every Super Bowl to uh, woo the media to the next Super Bowl. So you have the New York, New Jersey contingent over there. They just have free taffies. I'm not that interested in free taffies. I am, however, interested in free little mini footballs. And that's what Arizona is giving out. So on my quest for free stuff, I will accept a free mini football from the Arizona Super Bowl host committee. My free squishy football. <laughs> Thank Yay, you. You're welcome. Sure you don't want any taffy? It's delicious. This is sure. Atlantic City taffy. Got some chocolate right here. It's delicious. Ooh, chocolate taffy. You want some for? You want some extra? All right. Rolling with the, the chocolate taffy from Atlantic City. Oh, that's good. <laughs> It's like a really fresh Tootsie Roll. It is. It's good stuff, right? Evan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Take and a whistle? It's, it's, a, it's also a flash drive. And a flash drive. <laughs> In fact, it's only a flash drive. It's no, not. It is a whistle. Oh, it also, is a whistle. Yes. It's a whistle and a flash drive. Gosh. Wow. Never the places than technology that can take us. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Luck on Sirius XM Radio. I'm trying to get as much free stuff on Radio Row as possible. Oh, we can help you with that. Hold yeah. on. Oh, I have a special agent helping me right now. Can you keep going behind. There. Okay. All right. Some goodies. Gatorade goodies. Thank you, my man. You're welcome. I'm a little late to get the free po boy, but my buddy Chris Burns here. I might have an extra. I might score his po' boy. This is official business. Trying to get as much free stuff as possible. It's hard work and you get hungry. There's a lot of free stuff here. New Orleans is leading the league in free stuff at the Super Bowl. Yeah, right here, right here. Yeah. No, I can't see. I just framed it up so I could try to make sure it doesn't suck. That's my, that's my goal this whole week, Kirk, is not sucking. 
you know what? This is a, a, a great week to just uh, be your best or be at your best. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's uh, like Karate Kid. I'm like Ralph Macchio right now. Right. That's what I'm doing right now. Right. Yeah. Here with Kirk Morrison. Uh, Kirk, let's talk about first things first. Media Day, Radio Row, you're in the media, you're also a player. Yeah. What's this like for you to come here and uh, experience this whole scene? How do you describe it to people that have never been here before? It's, a, uh, it's very quiet and boring on Monday. Tuesday, even more, it's it's a little different because you have the media day with the players and you get some of the storylines of, you know, um, for this week you have San Francisco with the Alex Smith, Kaepernick deal, and then the Harbaugh Brothers Super Bowl, then you got Ray Lewis. So it picks up a little bit, you know, on Tuesday. Wednesday, you get a little bit more people because everybody's starting to really settle in. By Thursday and Friday, it's usually chaos. Everybody who's coming to the game for the game or just to – you know, pitch a product or whatever it is. It gets crazy Thursday and Friday. So that's why I like to come in, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you won't see me Thursday or Friday. <laughs> Calm before the storm and you get out of town. Well, this is the only time I can get some face-to-face -face time. You know what I mean? I get some me time. Like right now, we get a little face time. Right. Thursday, Friday, people, the same people that you saw earlier, they won't act like they won't know you <laughs> on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We in college and we didn't think he can do it in our pros. And it's, it, it's work. It's effective. He's a gazelle out there. He is an absolute gazelle. All right, lastly, here with Kirk Morrison. Kirk, I know you got a lot of other things to do, and you'll probably ignore me come Thursday and Friday. But um, what's your final prediction for the game, for the score? You know, my final prediction is uh, I've been kind of holding off till Friday. It's only Wednesday, but you know, right now, if you had to ask me today, I would have to go with the Ravens. Mm -hmm. It could change by Friday. <laughs> who knows? But I'll have to go with the Ravens. I think that they've. They've been in this situation before. You realize I'm wearing this jersey until the Niners win a Super Bowl, which means you just sent me another year in this same jersey. Uh, you know what's so funny, though, is that the last th – this could have been a repeat Super Bowl. Yeah, absolutely. How close would it could have been? If you hold on to the football, Lee Evans, or they make the field goal by Cundiff, they go into overtime, possibly win that one. Um, then all of a sudden, you know, if Ted Ginn Jr. was healthy – and could have been back returning kicks instead of Kyle Williams. We or how about the refs just say, hey, yeah, Bradshaw actually did fumble. <laughs> Niners, here's your turnover. It, that's how close this could have been a repeat Super Bowl. So uh, it, 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 it's, it's going to be an exciting game. I do know that. Uh, my X factor is really just the kickers. You know, if it comes down to it, who do you have more trust in, David Akers or Justin Tucker? I might have to go with Justin Tucker. Sent sh chills down my spine. If this game comes down to David Akers, I will be wearing this jersey for another year, and that might be a little sad. Might be a little sad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not only are you a, a samurai warrior, but you are a gentleman, sir. Jules, etiquette is one of the principles of the samurai warrior, along with loyalty, along with living through death, showing no fear, ultimate self-sacrifice. And furry hats. We also have some pop chips. Now, I am a Cool Ranch Dorito connoisseur. Um, I will now add salsa tortilla chips to my uh, my litany of chips that I love. What do you love about the pop chips? Thank you, Jules. These are the new tortilla flavors, and they, they are sensational. Not just salsa. You guys, four separate flavors that are incredible, but they're all the new tortilla Taste. The warrior spirit, and the Ravens are seen as a very smash-mouth football team. They've been led by their defense for really the past decade. Last time they were in the Super Bowl, it was a very defensive-minded team. Um, but now you have the 49ers also making some waves with their defense. Talk about that warrior spirit that permeates the defenses in the NFL. It's a great question. Should a little long-winded, but I think you get it. No, not at all long-winded. Almost short-winded for me. Not enough wind. You are gentle of the wind. The Book of Wind by Musashi, the master swordsman, 1500s Japan. The warrior spirit must be imbued for one to grab any prize, be it the Lombardi Trophy, you know, be it a, a bag of pop chips. This is, this is after hours time. These are the outtakes of Bueller's Day Off. Here with Christian Okoye, the Nigerian nightmare, but this is reality. Uh, first of all, let's talk about that nickname, Christian, uh, the Nigerian nightmare. When you were first bestowed upon that nickname, how, how did it come about, and were you proud of it? 
Well, of course I was proud of it. You know, uh, one of my teammates started calling me Nigerian Nightmare in practice. You know, of course I welcomed it because it's such a great name too, you know. So I kept it. <laughs> yeah. Who is this? Who is this person? That, uh, that's me. <laughs> I know, I'm just playing. <laughs>